the uh, as we know uh, Tun Daim has passed on and the prosecution has uh, withdrawn the case uh, under a particular section of the criminal procedure code so they are entitled Okay, start, huh? okay. okay, we just uh, came out of the court, the Sessions Court, uh, and uh, the, uh, as we know, uh, Tun Daim has passed on, and the prosecution has uh, withdrawn the case uh, under a particular section of the Criminal Procedure Court. So they are entitled to withdraw that case, they have the discretion, but we argued that they, the court should make an order acquitting uh, Tun Daim of uh, the charge against him and that since they are not proceeding with the case that is the only appropriate order that can be made and we urge the court to give that order because we cannot have a charge hanging over a person uh, which is not resolved right because it will continue to plague especially the family that you know he was charged and there was no outcome of the of the charge so we asked the uh, yeah so we asked the court to uh, give a discharge and an acquittal and the court has agreed the court has given an acquittal and as far as we are concerned this is an exoneration of the of any charge that was made against uh, Tundaim then in the court also, we referred to the fact that at the last mentioned day, the prosecution had cast doubt on the MC that was given on behalf of Tun Daim not to attend court on that day. In fact, the court had already exempted him from coming because of the MC. Yet the prosecution raised this whole question of whether the MC is valid or not valid. So we also raised this question to say that this kind of conduct by the prosecution uh, is uh, inappropriate and it gives rise to concerns that uh, why are they raising this when he's exempted uh, and questioning uh, his uh, non-attendance. Uh, they were suggesting, in other words, that it was possible that Tun Daim did not want to attend and he was, you know, uh, doing a sham MC or getting an MC just to avoid coming to court but the court had already exempted him from coming so today we raise the fact that this kind of allegations made by the prosecution are inappropriate <coughs> should not have should not have been made and that uh, we hope that uh, the prosecution will uh, proceed uh, properly with regard to you know have proper ethical conduct when uh, conducting the case like this otherwise people will begin to think because they make an application which is so frivolous right uh, and then they publicize it in the press 